So this is the Parweld 211DI 4-in-1 machine. We're going to have a look at the TIG function today. Uh, this machine's got both AC and DC TIG function, so we can weld aluminium, steel, stainless steel uh, with the TIG, TIG function. Um, a couple of modes in, in the machine. Uh, auto set, which is a quick and easy way of getting to the parameter you want, just by dialing in the material thickness. And then manual set, which allows you to individually adjust all, all the parameters. Uh, we're going to run the machine uh, with a conventional torch with the uh, three button control on and also we'll run it with the foot, foot control that I've got plugged in at the moment. So uh, we're just going to go in a bit closer and go through the setup of the machine and then we'll, we'll do some welding. So really important thing uh, before you go anywhere is back to the home menu, press on help, torch, TIG torch, and we need to tell the machine which uh, torch we've got connected, foot control, uh, wheel control or three button. Uh, I've just plugged the three button in so I'm going to select that. If I don't select the torch correctly um, I won't get the proper amperage adjustment uh, on, on the machine. So now we can go into the TIG mode. Um, we're going to do uh, auto set to start with, so auto set, 2T control, I've got a 2.4 tungsten fitted in the torch, I'm going to weld aluminium and I'm going to dial in 3mm aluminium. Machine selects uh, the parameters, uh, you can tweak a couple of things like pulse flow and down slope time. Uh, for your preference and we can also save that to memory so I'm going to save that one to memory now I'm going to put it in memory one say yeah and then I can go back to the uh, welding screen and we're going to compare these two modes later on so if I go back home now long press will take me right back to the beginning so I can drill in again manual set I'm going to do 40 control on this because I have more options available for me AC HF start no pulse and then I can toggle through you can see the little red dot moving around so pre gas press it red dots flashing can adjust it start current start around 50 amps Upslope 1.3, welding current, I'm going to dial that up to more like 100. Downslope 1.4 seconds, it's okay. Final current 56 amps, pulse gas of 2.6 uh, seconds. Uh, AC frequency. I'm up at 100 hertz there, uh, you can see it goes all the way to 150 and we can dial that right the way down to a really slow 25 but we'll start at 50 uh, there and then the last option I've got is AC balance, it's defaulting to 25 so that's fine so we'll just scroll back to our welding current and I'm ready to weld. I can save that to memory as well if I so wish. So we'll put that into memory two. And back to the welding screen. So get my gloves and goggles on and away we go. I'm in the manual set mode. Uh, I'm not using any filler metal. I'm just going to run a bead along here. Okay. 
ease up that now, pressure fill. So what I'm going to do now is uh, change the uh, AC frequency. We're on 50 hertz. We're going to go up to about 100. You see the tighter arc and the improved uh, heating pop. There we go, 100 hertz. The improvement in weld speed. There's the fill. going to do now is that was on the manual setting so I'm going to go back now and call up from the memory the auto set parameters We're going to swap over to the foot cone control now. So I'm going to disconnect the uh, torch switch. I've got the uh, foot cone control here. Powered standard foot control with a uh, trimmer on, on the side and that limits the maximum current you reach uh, with the foot control. So if it's set over um, fully over to, uh, clockwise, you'll get the maximum machine current. Anywhere back from that, you limit the uh, the maximum current you get on the pedal. Um, so to rig this up, I just need to plug it into the same socket that the TIG torch uses, locked into place. Uh, and then I just to go long press, take me to the home menu, into help, torch, TIG torch, and move that over to the foot control option. And then I can now go back into the TIG menu, manual set. You'll see you've only got now the option of 2T because we've put the foot control in. Uh, so that takes away the 40 option. AC again, HF start, no pulsing. And if I go to the uh, welding current menu, just want to dial that all the way down to 10 which is the minimum uh, on aluminium and uh, we're ready to go. Uh, if I press the uh, trigger now, just move the torch. So if I press the uh, foot control now, gas come on and ramp up. Because I've trimmed this knob, I'm getting 98. So I can wind it up to the maximum I want. So that's preset the maximum travel I'm going to get out the foot control.